Hey there, how's it going? Thanks a lot for watching and tuning in. Today I have a special guest with me. This little man here, his name is Nacho. He is my housemate's, former roommate's new dog. This is his first camping trip. Glad to have him around and uh, hope he's gonna enjoy it. He is a Mexican street dog rescue. So he was insanely shy at the beginning. He would literally just freeze the moment he would leave the house and would not move anymore. Uh, there was no way I could walk him. He was really scared. And he just completely transformed into a happy dog for the most part. You know, once in a while, he's a little bit suspicious here and there and he's not 100% sure what to make out of it. And we're gonna visit my musician and nomad friend, Gabe Mangold, who's camping around Lake Meat. And he also has a dog, his name is Jiro, and I took care of him a couple of times already, and he was with us here in Vegas in a house and short times with me in the van. He also helped Nacho quite a lot to understand it's okay to be happy, you know, and it's okay to be a happy dog. Yeah, I see you at the camp spot of Lake Mead. I don't need anything. All right, does your pup want a treat? Uh, yeah, sure. You got one? Yes, definitely, I've got the bunch. Oh, wow. Uh, you just have the one little guy? We're not leaving anyone out, are we? Just this guy. Sweetie, what's their name? Nacho. Nacho, you're so cute. I got a treat for you, just because you're so cute. Never done anything wrong, huh? He's a rescue, so he's a little bit shy still. It's working. Oh, oh yay, I'm glad Nacho's happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. He likes it. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, so we try to find Gabe now. I've been to this place before. It's pretty popular. Lots of rakes here. And some good potholes. Sit down, buddy. You good? You good? You good? <laughs> yeah, this place is packed. Wow, look at this. Very busy. Sure, there's a lot of campers that come here to visit Vegas. And this is obviously a neat place to stay. See his trailer, Gabe has the tiltable panels. I'm definitely gonna check out later. Stay way more efficient during the winter time. this one out first. Get off my lawn! <laughs> <laughs> well, you doing, brother? What's up, buddy? Say hello. 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 What up, you dude? Oh, oh, oh. Zero. Uh, hey. So this is Gabe. Hi. Awesome hello. guy. Hello. Awesome guitar player. And that's our camp for the night. Just making sure Nacho's cool, but he's not going to run away. He's yeah. fine. He should be fine. Yeah. He seems like he likes it. Yep. All right. Dogs are doing fine. There we go. Nope. Nope. Okay. On my own bowl. Yeah, you're so happy. You're so happy to be out here, aren't you? So here's Gabe and oh, I. Hi. Oh, oh. Sorry, was that your foot? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Here I am. On the screen. What up, YouTube? Ah. So, as as you can see, I'm 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 a fan. He's, I'm wearing he's the t-shirt. He's got the shirt, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Scorpion wins. <laughs> right? So Enterprise Earth, that's yeah. his band. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to show you guys some footage from a concert that I attended in Phoenix. Uh, like a month ago, was that? So mm, just, about, about, right? just about. Just um, about. So yeah, he came, Gabe came up here to Vegas to camp and hang around for a while. Oh, anything else you were doing here? I'm just writing, writing new music right now. Oh yeah, so wait, you, you, you finished right a tour. I'm Finish. just keeping an eye on the dog as well. While I'm talking, so you finished your tour, uh -huh. and you're yeah, you took the invitation to come up here and write uh -huh. some new stuff. Uh -huh. so. Yeah. So as you can see behind us, it's this trailer. We're gonna check that one out. Uh -huh. uh, I'm still keeping an <laughs> eye on the dog. <laughs> He's very confident. Yeah. Hey, hey. Nacho. Nacho. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. He's looking at us. That means maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, check out this trail in a minute. Hang around here for a night or two. And this dog is walking too far. I, I gotta stop this. Good boy. Yes. Sit. Good job. Sit, Joe. Good boy. Good job. As I said earlier, I took care of Jiro for a couple weeks. He stayed with him in the house. He's doing fine, but he likes it out here, so he's traveling with Gabe together full-time. So this guy must have quite the life. Yeah. So, this is Gabe, my great buddy, and quickly met through Instagram. No romantic intentions there. <laughs> we just... Uh, Even though you did film me naked on the first day we met for that that's video. Right, yeah. That's right, that's right. I should explain <laughs> that later. That's how you know you got a true friend. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that... I should explain that later. <laughs> well, maybe I just put some of that drone footage right, in, right yeah, here. Yeah, perfect. With like a big black yeah. kind of bar. So, uh, yeah, Gabe and I, we went through Instagram because there's not that many... Turn the microphone back on. There's not that many... Uh, musician nomads in this community and then we connected and we said you know what we got to meet up as soon as we can and yeah gabe's going to tell us a little bit about the differences in his rig versus my van and just in general what he's up to so turn the microphone back and here's gabe cool so yeah welcome to my trailer her name is nessa it is a 7 by 16 foot standard cargo trailer that as you can see i've retrofitted into a camper the main difference between my setup and ricky's is other than mine's obviously a, a trailer is I, I may have like a little more internal space, but um, I guess the main difference is I can detach my rig from my tow vehicle, um, which there's pros and cons of that, just like any setup. Pros, obviously I can keep my campsite, you know, like I've been going into town running errands and I've kept my site here. Um, so yeah, I don't have to worry about losing it when I leave. Um, obviously the cons are I'm towing a big heavy trailer around and I get poor fuel, fuel economy, I take up more space, all that stuff. But um, when I was building my rig, I determined that I wanted more space for my instruments and my things and headroom and clearance and not have to move things around and set things up. I just wanted everything to be in its place every day and just uh, have peace of mind like that. So, oh, wind. This is my Dometic three-way fridge. Uh, I run it on propane all the time because it's most efficient on propane. If I was on short power, maybe I would plug it in on AC or DC. But we've got a fully stocked fridge because we're going to eat some eat good tonight. Nice. Drink some beers and eat some good food and all that awesome, stuff. Awesome, man. But this is great. Um, right next to it, another very important thing is the diesel heater. Yes. Um, very, very important. The tank is outside. You'll see that later. But this little guy, it's a $200 Chinese heater off of Amazon. And once you figure out its, it's quirks and, and all that stuff, um, <laughs> it's uh, it's actually fantastic. I've, I've been in like the below teens with this thing and it's, it keeps me toasty at night. So I remember that was actually a cat door, right? Yes, I was cat sitting and I cut a <laughs> hole for the litter box one time. And uh, I mean, that was kind of dumb, but it's uh, conveniently well, worked out for the heater vents, even though it's clearly not perfect, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It adds, it adds character. That's that's what we say when, whenever we mess things up. It adds right. character. It adds character. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of storage up here. Yeah, storage awesome. up here. Uh, we have like a pantry area, mm -hmm. teas and plates, utensils, more pantry, dishes. Obviously I keep some things up right. here when I'm stationary. We have a sink, you yeah. know, running water, all that good stuff. Three burner stove. I wanted like a full kitchen because I love to cook and yeah. I like having lots of counter space, places to put things, prep areas. Um, Cause I, I cook pretty, when I'm out here, I cook every, pretty much every meal. 
Since we're in this corner, I remember you got all your electrics in here. Yes, so the electrical system is down here. Yep. I just upgraded to lithiums a few yep. months ago. And it's all, uh, what's the word again? DIY. DIY, yeah, this is a DIY setup. Uh, Ricky is installing the Battleborn setup, which those are great. They yep. come with a warranty and they're awesome, good company. And um, this company, um, Overkill Solar, they're also based in the, in the USA. The cells come from China and you d assemble them yourself, which the assembly is nothing crazy at all. As you can see, it's just some bus bars that you use to connect everything yeah. that I've connected in parallel series to get 400 amp hours at 12 volts. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Dinette area here. Yeah, dinette and all these things open up for storage, for storage yeah. down there. And now my la dirty laundry goes down there. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Control laminates. Control laminates. And this says rump, not Trump. I'm not a Trump. <laughs> I'm not a Trump supporter. This is this is a joke. I don't care if you do like him. It doesn't. I don't care at all. It's just a joke. It's a I, fucking joke. Uh, I get it. <laughs> People always say, look, oh yeah, Trump, hell oh, yeah. I'm like, no, dude. It's like, <laughs> So when I built this, I the first thing that I considered that I allocated space for was my guitars. Actually, everything's <laughs> built around my guitars because uh, I have a lot of them and I need them. I can relate. So oh. guitar storage is all down here. <laughs> all of my guitars and everything, all eight of them, guitars and, and bass. This is the hard. This is what everything comes down to. It's studio first. Everything else is the rest, right? That is correct. <laughs> yes. Very true. So walk us through what you got. So yeah, here's my studio setup. Um, let's sit down in the very important Herman Miller mirror chair. Yeah. This is actually one so, of the most important parts of the whole, I'm not even joking, Ricky knows too, because he's the one who told me about this chair. Um, you know, when you sit in a chair all day, you gotta have a good one uh, or else your back starts to hurt. I was rocking the third girl at Walmart, Walmart chair for like two or three years and my back was killing me. Yep. And then Ricky was like, hey, you idiot, get a good chair. And I was like, okay. And I got one of these and my back pain was completely gone like in a couple days. And I, think I, I, I didn't say idiot. Though, no, you didn't call me an idiot, but I was <laughs> like, man, I'm an idiot for not having this chair yeah. afterwards. Anyway, so good chair is important. Yeah. Um, and then we have the whole space here. So I run my whole rig on a laptop. Ricky's got a tower. Uh, which does uh, let him get some more power and you know storage and all those fun things. But fortunately, technology has come a very long way these days. This Asus TUF A15 laptop is it's one of like the most powerful laptops you can buy these days, and it's an affordable price point. Nice. So I run all my productions. I've produced the whole last album on this, and it's pretty pretty big sessions that I run on there. On Cubase, of on course. Cubase, of course. Here, here we can. Yep. Is this is expand all. You still have a second monitor here in case, right? Second yeah. screen, I mean. Yeah, here we go. Turn it on, you know, show the whole rig. It does technically the same thing. It's just because I use so many sample libraries. Yes. It's, 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 you try to avoid the bottlenecks. That's right. You need more, more layers of yes. drive. Yeah. Tiny keyboard down here. Yes, see. keyboard here. Yeah. Nice. I need to clean it, obviously. Zakempa, uh, which like I really don't use too much anymore. Because you switched over to... Because we have the Quad Cortex from Neural DSP. Right. Um, if there's any, we'll do a brief guitar nerd thing, I guess. But uh, this is Neural's new floor or hardware unit. Um, and I, I use uh, pretty much all of their products now when I'm mixing for guitar tones and bass. It's just they have completely taken over the guitar game. Uh, with their plugins and now with their hardware. So you also the subwoofer here. Yes, I do have a sub. I wonder, <laughs> such a small space. But it, it, I, I need it. I definitely need it, um, for especially mixing. Um, just because I, in a small space, it 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 gets overpowering really quick. Um, and Ricky also brought that to my attention because I had it too loud. And once I brought it down, my mixes got cleaner because I was I was over mixing the bass. And, um, but it definitely helps, especially when I, I do like metal productions and cinema too. There's lots of low end um, bass drops, all these things. And you just want to make sure you can hear that. Um, so you're not blowing up anyone's speakers or anything like that. But it's mostly just to check, just to make sure I'm not messing anything up in the low end department. Which I might because I don't have it, but obviously you need to know what you're doing with it. So yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you're not getting spoiled too much with bass. Yes. And then a lot of it comes down to just when you're mixing just to know knowing your room any right. mixing or mastering engineer, um, you know, they get comfortable in their space. They know what the room is supposed to sound like. They know what 2K is supposed to sound like in their room or 50 hertz. So um, once you get used to your space, then it gets a, a little a little easier too. And the doggies. And sleep, sleeping doggies. <laughs> yeah. This guy, he's doing fine. It's so it's so nice to see Nacho happy, man. Oh yeah, happy boy, happy boy. Oh. And here we can get a better look of how the 
until the rig works. There is one uh, where there's like a base layer of channel strut where everything slides upon, which is these silver ones. And then the green ones are everything that tilts and moves. Um, so we have these single channel adjustable braces. That's what these hinges are. Uh, and uh, spring bolts, spring bolts, or spring nuts. And uh, I loosen these to allow it to move. I just simply push it up and then just tighten the spring spring nuts right back down. Right. And it holds it. It's not going anywhere, and it's it's been tested in very high winds uh, here and in Taos, and it's it it holds it holds up just fine. We have one fantastic van. I have one too. Yeah. I wish I would have installed the max air yeah. just to have that rain guard yeah. installed right into it. Yeah. Because uh, those whatever covers they sell, they they look stupid. But you have two. That's cool. Here we have my panels tilted to approximately 45 degree angle. Two 300 watt arrays, 600 watts in total at 12 volt. And the signal booster right there. There's the papa. He is down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The orchestra happening here. I have to push it out of the way. Thanks a lot for showing, brother. Yeah. Not everybody does that. First of all, one musician and the other show them demos mm -hmm. or work in progress is. Mm -hmm. and, it's it's yeah. like a showing a painting before it is complete. Yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. You want to hear full finished polished material? Those guys are awesome. Where can people find you? On Instagram, Death Metal Gypsy. Also, my website, studionessa.net, and my band, Enterprise Earth, at enterpriseearthband.com, and Enterprise Earth on all of the usual socials and YouTube channels. Good, good, great guy, good man. So is this guy. There's a, the camera. There's, there's, there's this guy. Bogies don't care. When I was mixing the album, like Jiro had heard like the same bass drop so many times. In this one part of the song, he would start whining whenever I would play. He'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like I've heard this so many times. <laughs>